Sí, señor. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellency, the celebrant General Dr. Yakubu Gowon, GCFR, your lovely wife, my dear sister, Her Excellency Phil Marshall, and the first former First Lady. Mrs. Victoria, go on. His Excellency, former President, Baba Obasanjo, the representative of our President, President Ahmed, Bola Tunumbu, His Excellency, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, distinguished Senator Akume, and your lovely wife, Her Excellency, former First Lady, Mrs. Mariam Abacha. Your Excellency, my brother, President of the African Development Bank, Dr. Akimwomi Ayodeji Adesina, and Her Excellency, your lovely wife. The representative of President Ibrahim Badamasi Babangira, Adia Aisha Babangira. I'll beg to stand on the existing protocol. I have listened carefully to all the comments made right from yesterday. And a lot have been said, particularly from people that have personal thought or relationship. Unfortunately for me, I didn't have any such close contact when the head of state, the celebrant, was heading our dear nation. But what I have, and I was lucky to have, is the benefits of his policies. As a young man in 1966, I was just going into my first class in secondary school, government secondary school in Zaria. And we had everything that we need. I remember I was fond of fine art. And I formed a fine art club. But we don't have a class or a course as fine art in the secondary school. And I was informed too when I formed this club. And I have almost about 300 members. So I went and met the principal. And the principal was an Englishman. Captain or Major Paul Thornton. So he allowed me to see him. So when I went to his office, I told him, Look, I have a fine art club, and only one year I have over 300 members. So we need a fine art teacher. So he looked at me, he said, Look at this young man you want. So we interacted. And the following year, there was a fine art teacher, and we had a course of fine art. So this 
even at secondary school le level, we had everything that we need. The provision is made through the policies of his administration. And I also remember I was a member of the cadet corps and we were one time invited to go on a training, a special training in Zaria. And all the members in other secondary schools were brought together and we had a long bush exercise and we were, after about six weeks, beginning to think or believe that we have been pre we are being prepared to go to the front war. But fortunately enough for us, the very day we were completing, it was announced that the war was over. No, no winner, no vanquish. So we went on and went into the university. So almost my, my youth was spent having the celebrant as the head of state. And I still remember as a student, we had everything. Our dining halls were perfect. We had scholarship. You choose the type of scholarship you want. So I decided to take federal scholarship for the tuition and then state scholarship for my feeding. So we, 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 are, we had everything. Not only that, we had enough from our, our allowances to be able to travel overseas for summer holidays. That time it was very common and the ticket, there is special reduced cost for students. And everybody can have extra code. There are student rates. If a student, you want to go on holidays, you have a special rate. We really had a good time. Thank you, Your Excellency, for what you have done to this country. And this scholarship, you can choose whether you want to go to university in Nigeria or overseas. I decided to study in Nigeria, in Zaria, my hometown, to study architecture. Because School of Architecture in Zaria was in globally recognized as one of the best school of architecture in the world. And this, you were able to make it. So we had a very, very good time. So when I became governor of Kaduna State, my actions were guided with the way and manner and the benefits I had during the administration. of Your Excellency, the celebrant. It encouraged me in making sure that I achieve the free primary and secondary education system in Kaduna State. It allows me to put in a lot of policies that you have put during your administration. And that made Kaduna very peaceful. Throughout the three years I spent as governor, because of those policies, there was no single incident 
where we have people fighting and killing themselves in Kaduna State. So, I want to specially congratulate you on your 90th birthday and pray that Almighty God will continue to give you the good health and that we will be here again to celebrate your 100 years. Congratulations. Assalamu alaikum.